Hi, welcome to Hypertech. We are going to show you how to set up and install an HPS inverter. There are a few simple steps. Inspect the package. Learn about your inverter and PV system. Set up the device for installation. Connect the inverter to the grid and the solar panels, then finalize with the app. All the parts you need are inside the box. You will also need these tools for the installation. Before the installation, here's a few things you need to know about your inverter. Hypontech HPS is a grid tied single phase inverter, covering the range from 2 kilowatts to 6.5 kilowatts. The inverter can operate at a peak efficiency of 98%. It can be connected to a 40% DC overload for even higher yield. With its compact size, for aluminum alloy die casting and smart monitoring application, HPS works best in a residential system like this. If you are interested in the technical details, you can find the data in the user manual or you can download all the documents on our website. Please note that the DC switch, the LCD screen and the Wi-Fi stick are optional. To set up the inverter, please get a professional in your area to do it for you. First, use the mounting bracket as a panel and drill two holes. Use expansion bolts and screws to fix the mounting bracket. Now, hang up the inverter. Attach a M5 screw on its heatsink on the top right side. The inverter should be securely attached to the bracket. We recommend having your inverter installed on a solid and vertical wall. There should be enough clearing space around the device, and the mounting location should be reasonable and accessible for future maintenance work. Prevent the inverter from direct exposure to sunlight, rain, snow, and keep it away from inflammable and explosive items. Before conducting any electrical connections, please make sure you have read all associated information about precautions, warnings, safety, and other regulations, and make sure you follow them carefully. You can find the cable requirements and cross sections in our quick installation guide. With the full plug-in design of HPS, all terminals are equipped at the bottom of the inverter. That means you won't need to remove the cover to finish both AC and DC connections. First, install a secondary PE connection. Start the commissioning on the AC side. Before proceeding, please make sure you have completely de-energized the AC cables and the DC is switched off. To assemble the AC connector plug, first loosen the swivel nut and the connector body. Use the Allen key to loosen the screws of the socket. Note that the sockets are labeled with L, N, and P, E. Crimp the AC cables with suitable ferrules. and drive the cables through the connector. Insert the cables in the corresponding sockets and tighten the screws. You can now complete the assembly of AC connector plug and connect it to the inverter.
Now the DC side. You will need the connection cables from your solar panel. Ensure that the cables have the correct polarity during the connection. Strip off the wire insulation and attach them to the terminals. Insert the DC cables into the MC4 connectors and plugs. Then finish the assembly. Again, make sure they have the correct polarity, positive and negative. Insert the MC4 connector and plugs into the MPPT tracker of the inverter. If your HPS device is above 3 kilowatts, there are two MPPT tracker sets. If there is a set unused, please make sure they are kept with the blue plugs provided in the package. This ensures the device is securely sealed. Installing a Wi-Fi stick is a simple method for establishing monitoring and communication function for the HPS. Screw on the Wi-Fi stick to the inverter and tighten. If you would like to connect the dread or smart meter to your inverter, you will have to remove the cover. Unscrew the cable gland and take out one of the rubber ceilings. Please unscrew in the indicated sequence, and it is important to keep the screws inside their holes. Don't worry, the screws will stay there even if you turn the cover upside down. Lift the cover and disconnect it from the power board. Here are the terminals for the meter and the dread. Drive the cable through the port and assemble the connector. Tighten the nut of the cable glide and put the cover back on. Now you can switch on the AC power and close the DC switch. The installation of HPS inverter is now complete. For grid that have an unstable voltage or frequency, the inverter might often go on self-protection mode whenever it detects a sudden change on the AC side. In that case, we suggest you to set your device to the customized AC settings. This allows a wider range of AC before the inverter goes on protection. Push the button for a few times until you see this. Then hold the button for 5 seconds for the customized standard. Push the button again to switch to the customized mode. For HPS owners that do not have a LCD screen, please contact your installer to change the setting for you. If you would like to know more about us and our inverters, please visit us on hypontech.com. You can also drop your inquiries to the email addresses.